You're watching Better.TV. Home, family, life. Nothing says Valentine's Day quite like a box of chocolates, but the sugary sweet can be bad for your loved one's health. Judy Barnes Baker knows this firsthand. Eight years ago, her husband Dean's declining health forced her to change the way that her family ate. Today, she's written a cookbook with her recipes called Carb Wars. So I met up with Judy to make a Valentine's Day treat that's sugar-free but very romantic, chocolate-dipped strawberries. Judy, what's the first step to make this? Uh, first, we're going to take four ounces mm -hmm. of unsweetened chocolate. Unsweetened. Unsweetened, and chop it. And the best way to chop a block of chocolate is to do it with a chef's knife on the diagonal. And you just want to shave it away in very thin slices from the edge. I see. And it will melt very easily and very fast. Okay, so now you've got your chocolate chopped, what's the next step? We're going to crush the Splenda okay. so that it will be as fine as a powder and then the chocolate will taste nice and smooth. Okay. If you don't crush it, it will be grainy. Got it. So we need six tablespoons of Splenda. Okay. And this is a little quickie way to do it if you put it between two sheets of wax paper mm -hmm. and then roll it with a rolling pin. Okay. Just back and forth, all, okay. go all different directions because okay. you want it to be as fine as possible. It should be like a, the texture of powdered sugar when okay. you're done. Okay, time to melt the chocolate. Pour the Splenda in the top of a double boiler. Then add your chocolate and a teaspoon of coconut oil and place over water which should be hot but not boiling. Then stir. It goes kind of fast once it starts. But you have to you have to keep stirring the whole time and you have to watch it. Then take it off the heat and temper it by stirring it a bit more. Okay, this is my favorite part, dipping them. But before we do, there's one step, right? Oh, uh, you have to chill your pan. Okay. And the heavier the pan, the better, because it'll hold the cold longer. The heavier the pan. Okay. And you lined it with wax paper, mm -hmm. and that will release your berries after they're set. Okay. And dip it in the chocolate and roll it until it's covered on all sides. Swirl it all the way around. Okay. You don't want to cover the whole thing. Okay. Leave a little of the red showing. Beautiful. And then let it drip a little bit, kind of give it a swirl. Okay. Turn it upside down and let it drip down a little bit so mm -hmm. you get a nice even coating and then put it on the cold right. pan. And one of the things that you mention in your cookbook is that the strawberry has to be completely dry before you do this, right? right. Why is that? Uh, because the chocolate will seize if any water gets in it. Okay. Even a little bit of steam can okay. make it seize. <laughs> it will be a hard lump. And voila! Beautiful chocolate dipped strawberries sure to warm your Valentine's heart while still keeping it healthy. Thanks for watching Better.TV, always on with home, family, life. Email us at ideas at better.tv. Together, we make it better.